As long as Denise can remember, her father had been both the loving dad and the frightening monster who would abuse his family. It starts out really small at first, like you'll have a boundary and they'll cross it. And then they'll step back and say, I um, didn't mean to. And then you, you draw another boundary and then they cross that. And then you get to the point where this boundary's crossed, this boundary's crossed, you have no boundaries left. We're at the bottom here. There, there's no saving this. There's nothing I can do to save this. You know, you have got to make that decision. You have got to go. My mom came up, she's like, I need to talk to you. And I was like, okay, you know, my mom looked at my stickers and she goes, me and your father came back together. I said, what? And I threw all my stickers. And I go, mommy, you know he's crazy. I was crying, you know, and I was just like, I was so upset. I was like, you're crazy. You can't do this to me, you know? We we gotta get out of your mom. I think I was nine then, and it was so horrible. And I was right. Uh, five days after that, he went crazy again. I love him, but I don't have respect for him. Denise found herself in an emotional tug of war where, you know, she loved her father and she was able to um, discuss those feelings, but she also knew that her father had committed some acts that she had seen with her own eyes that were just heinous. Counseling, I believe, afforded her an opportunity to be able to identify and sort out those feelings. For Christine and Denise, life is beginning to have a sense of normalcy again. Christine has a good job. Denise likes her school. Looking back, Christine struggles with the realization that she had to fall so low before she could do what she now knows was the only right thing. If you stay in a situation like that, your children subconsciously are going to say, well, Mom, Mom lived through it. Mom did okay. You know, or we made it. So, you know, it must be normal. Well, it's not normal. Catland is also a survivor of domestic abuse. But his path is very different from that of Denise. As a toddler, he was neglected by his mother and beaten by his mother's boyfriend. His Aunt Christina rescued him when he was a young boy and became his legal guardian. Christina has given Catlin a home and helped him to deal with his inner demons. Catlin's relationship with Christina has been a source of resentment and jealousy for his biological mother. She would tell him, if it weren't for your aunt, we could be a family. But then she would disappoint him, like not send him a birthday card. She didn't call him for graduation, you know, uh, she, just to hurt him. The repeated rejection by his mother sent Catlin into a downward spin, week-long alcohol and drug binges, and a suicide attempt. When he was at rock bottom, his father committed suicide. I say to people, you can take a child out of a violent environment, but it'll take years to take the violent environment out of the child. There is one thing that Catlin feels he can do to make amends, and that is to take good care of his own son. Definitely I found my place with my, with my child. That's my place. That's my world now, so. Josh and Ophelia are playing their SWAT team game, protecting themselves and their mother from the enemy. The effects of growing up with their abusive stepfather are present even in their playing. To the outside world, he was a well-respected minister. But at home, he was a monster. And then, the memory of the night Larry promised he would change. Instead, he went on a drunken, violent rampage, tearing the house apart, knocking out the electricity, leaving them in the dark. My kids are trembling, because he had just promised them that he was going to be a better man. And I couldn't, I couldn't take that any, any further. You know, my promise to my children is they will never have to grow up in a hostile situation. Never. <laughs> and he did this. He broke his word. You know, we have left that situation. I want them to feel that we have left it. It's behind us. Annie Goodyear is a volunteer child care facilitator, and she sees Josh in group sessions once a week. My goal is to walk in Josh's world. I care enough to, to hear what he's saying and ask him about that. I want to be an armed national guard. I don't do it just for the the badge and the gun, serve, protect the country. Then after I do that, I might want to work for Secret Service. Because I want to do, I want to play them big roles, be a hero. Mary's strong desire to break the cycle for herself and for her children has empowered her to go back to school. I am a survivor of domestic violence. And uh, this is something I'm doing for me.